Okay, so this is going to be a stream slash YouTube video of uh, the first level of Mega Man X New Hard Type. So for everyone who's not aware, uh, the original Mega Man X Hard Type was a hack made by my good pal Heart Hunt here on the title screen, and I guess I can't really circle it with my mouse cursor's turned off. But the basically, it's it was one of the first, uh, if not the first, major Mega Man X hack completed and so like since then the tools have improved and uh now hard hack can do so much more uh evil wizardry than he could before so i figure so he, he he's making a new hard type hack uh where enemies are going to be uh moved to different places and whatnot that's one of the things he couldn't do before was move around enemies and where they are placed, so now he can do stuff like that and make the levels even more evil. <laughs> so, uh, so far only the first stage has been completed, but I figure I'll give it a whirl, see how things go. Uh, second. And I guess the title screen's also here, so let's see that real quick. Capcom. No, it wasn't. Made by Insane Difficulty. Or, uh, New Game Plus, as things are seeming to look now. Platform removal, spike pits, AI enhancer, you died screen. Are you sure that's not the entire game, Heart? Emergency dash boots, I didn't read the rest, because I... He's too busy making a dumb joke. Broad range eye camera. This is a lot of stuff. Kind of hard to read all that. Kind of being silent here because I'm trying to... I'm not sure if any... how much of this has changed. Yeah, this this just looks like the original text, so I'm not gonna go any farther in that. Oops, I gotta press start. Okay, so presumably I've improved somewhat since uh, the first time I played like the original uh, hack. Also, one of the th you can go behind this building here. That's cool. I thought there was a way... whoops. Oh no, my controller's messed up again. Dang it. Give me a second, just gotta change around the L and R buttons. I've heard we're dashing on L. Why is it still... did I mess it up again? Or maybe it was reversed for some reason. Why is it still on R? Forget it, we're putting dash on R. Got hit because of it. Okay. So let's see how things play out now. So I can already see a whole bunch of the enemies have been moved around and whatnot. Also, uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, there's Dash in the first stage. Which is pretty obvious because I've been complaining about Dash being on the wrong button a whole bunch. That's really irritating though. Yeah, changing that isn't doing anything. I'm not sure why. Maybe if I close and reopen this, it will... If all else fails, I can just, uh...
think I can just change the controls from here. Whoops. Oh, right, because I had A. Well, I'm not getting any weapons, whoops. So let's just do this. I had to switch L and A, apparently. Because by Super Mario controls, I have A spin jump set to R. So there we go. Now I can actually play properly. And before I jump down a hole... Whoa! It looked like he shot a wheel there. I <laughs> uh, wasn't really paying attention last time. Oh, did he shoot three missiles? I thought they always only shot two. Yeah, he's shooting a bunch of missiles. Well, that's new, I think. You can die. I should have a little bit more leeway with these guys thanks to the dash, because they can only knock out one tile, which isn't very long, com which isn't very wide compared to how far I can dash. Yeah, that was close. Very easy to get knocked down the hole. Although not as easy in a game... Oh, wow. It, that's different. Were you guys even in this stage before? Eh, well, you committed suicide. Jump. I'm almost out of HP now. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is new. Shoot. I was trying to get up there, but I missed. Whatever. Bit harder when you don't know where all the enemies are anymore. Now that I know they shoot more missiles, I can be a bit more wary. All those guys just restored my HP again. Gotcha. So I get the feeling that one of the things that this uh, new Mega Man X hard type is trying to do is to be a little bit more open-ended with how you can go about doing things. Yeah, that guy almost killed me again. And I'm just kind of shooting ahead of me sometimes because I'm not really sure when something's going to show up. So I, I get the feeling there's going to be more paths and whatnot as you go through. Still haven't seen anyone in the chat. I'm hoping that my the plugin I'm using is working correctly and that people aren't like trying to chat and it's not working. I did test it, but you know, I also tested the controls before I started and that wasn't working either, so. So yeah, right here I can go left, although I'm assuming I could have also gone up there. So this, there's this cool little underground area here, and uh, where does this bring me anyway? Just seems like it sort of stopped. Hmm, guess I'm not supposed to be going this way right now. Well, these guys are restoring my HP as quickly as they're taking it away, so... Those wheel guys are really fast in this game, so I don't know where they are already. I tend to get hit pretty easily. So am I supposed to go up here? Okay, so that lets me go up here, but I I can't shake the feeling that there's something down here. Which I think is might be what Heart Hunt is going for. Because like why have this entire area where you can go left if there's nothing to the left? So like an invisible wall somewhere around here is my thought. Yeah, I think part of the reason why these wheels are getting me so much more than they did in the original uh, Mega Man X hard type is because I'm dashing around a lot across these flat surfaces. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any invisible walls. I don't know. I'll come back and explore it later, I guess. Dang it. Didn't give HP. So if you try to bash the button too fast against these met guys, they all deflect away and then they can pop up and shoot you and... Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead here. Oh, it's an HP power up. Oh, that's nice. This should be the boss, I bet. Well, uh, okay. The boss is a little bit more generous than he was in the original Mega Man X hard type. Whoops. Okay, so now's when I can go left to some effect. Alright. Can I go back up here? No, I can't climb on this wall. Can I climb on that wall? Might as well try. No. So over here is another wheel guy. Die. Dang it. See, those things are also new in this stage. Those things were definitely not in this stage before. I didn't re realize he could move enemies between stages quite as nicely, too. I wonder, like, what restrictions there are with, uh, moving enemies between stages like this. Like, whether you can just put anything anywhere, but I don't think that's the case. It's definitely not the case in Super Mario World. I'm starting to think I should just take my chances with shooting those mech guys in the face as much as possible because... So yeah, let's just get a move on. I blew something up there. Must have been a bat, I guess. You can die. Let's see what's over here. Eh, gotcha that time. Down here is another wheel. Hello, bat. Uh, die. So we're getting quite down here. And it's funny, because the intro stage before was just so linear, and then now it's an explosion of stuff. Get that again. Which is definitely cool. It definitely shows how much things have changed. You can die. Die. It's getting narrow around here. Oh, hey, it's one of these guys. Well, that. Well, I did a pretty darn bad job of dealing with him there. Go back. Do you just die? No. Some testing it out and all that. Might as well try things out. Man, it's just introducing all the enemies right away. <laughs> Whoops, I meant to walk off the edge there. Oh, oh wow, that was a hole. Dang it. I reacted fast enough to not fall down the hole, but... Alright, so is there a wheel over here? Well, oh, fell totally blind onto that guy, but... Not sure if anything could have been done about that. So just deal with him like that, deal with you like that, you can die. Yeah. Once you have a better idea of what's happening, what's going on, it's a lot easier to react to everything as it comes. Except that guy, apparently. Ugh, he jumped a bit. See, unlike Super Mario World, I can't, like, read levels as easily. Whoops. Because I 
I don't have as much experience with the engine, but... Let's go away. Whoa, lots of stuff. Computer was being weird. Okay, this is being super laggy. This is what happens when I try to record with SNES X instead of ZSNES, but I don't want any issues to happen with the game right now, considering it's an alpha stage and whatnot, so... You missed. Stupid turret back there. Yeah, that's one thing I'm not a huge fan of with Mega Man X, is that the enemies respawn, like, you go a, a tiny bit off screen and the enemies have already respawned. Kinda drives me nuts. Like, they don't have any leeway at all. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. These guys aren't that hard to deal with. Alright, so is this where I'm starting to leave? Oh wow, it's a door. Is this taking me to a boss fight, or... What was to the right, anyway? Okay. Oops. Wasn't super good. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go this way just yet. I also want to check out what's in the other direction, because it might just be a dead end and... Ah, can't go back. That sucks. Alright. So the wheel guy bombards me as soon as I get up here. Die. I feel like another wheel is going to fall on me from above. Let's try to stay over here. No, it's just a bat. Well, I want that health, so I'm definitely going back down there. Yeah, see, that's what I mean about the enemies respawning as soon as you go off the screen. Well, I'll take that one, especially since there's health right there. I was supposed to fire that the other way, but apparently not. Die. And die. 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 Oh, I took out something else. That was free. Alright, that guy's gonna be a pain. How do I want to deal with him exactly? Like that? Would've worked better if I had a, done a better job of dealing with the wheel. Jump! Is there anything up there? I don't know. This appears to be the end of the level. I I want to do another run through. So I wonder, is this going to be any different than before? The cars weren't really used this time. Like they were, they were used interestingly in uh, the original hard type. But I think they take more hits because I swear we, I was able to take them out before they did anything before. Well, that puts me at nice low HP to get killed by Vile. I think he'll be shooting his lasers right away. Better not run into him. Or, not lasers, just balls of electricity. Yeah. Hit me with the thing. There we go. Don't want to let him actually kill me. Yeah, I think this is original dialogue as well. But uh, I'm not 100% sure. And we have Zero, who doesn't play that large a role in this game exactly, but...
yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this. Um, so I, I don't know what happens after this, whether it just takes me to the original version of the game stages or whatnot. Passwords I don't need. So what happens if I select, say, Chill Penguin? Does it just bring me to the Chill Penguin stage? Because if so, I mean, I might as well just reset, obviously, but... Yeah, this is the original stage. So yeah, nothing too exciting is going to happen here. So yeah, let's reset. Go through it again. See what else there is to see. If, the, if there's anything I missed past the Met to the right, or if I found everything to begin with. Oh, I didn't set my controls this time. This is going to be messed up again, isn't it? Yeah. But this time I know what's wrong. Oops, that's not right. Uh... So swap L and A. So now A is L. Um, I put R back on R. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's not right. Now none of those dash. Now A is A, which isn't what I want either. Or A is L? Oh, whatever. See, so yeah, nothing back here still. I mean, obviously the rum hasn't changed since... I find it kind of weird that all these bullet shooting robots are at the start, because they're probably some of the toughest enemies in the level. Oh, I think... Isn't it that in Mega Man X, uh... The... You can basically have, like, sections of a level with different monsters in them? If so, that's pretty nice, because it offers... Oops. Dang it. Stupid death. Is that offers a lot of, uh, flexibility over... Super Mario World? Well, I guess not that much, because in Super Mario you can have sub-levels and whatnot. Whoops. Oh, wow, I thought that would be enough. <laughs> I was probably, like, one off or something. Yeah, I basically did the same thing as last time, but this time I didn't... I was a little bit farther over. Yeah, kind of like hovering in mid-air over the gap for a second to see what's coming is really effective, I guess. Made that, thankfully enough. At least the bats don't have a ceiling to latch onto, so they just kind of go off into infinity. It's basically like they kill themselves. See, it feels like there should be something at the end of this area. Or that if there's a dead end, it should be to the right, because that would be like, A, going right doesn't always just work anymore. Oops. but it's also possible that I'm just missing something. Because, yeah, you just kind of get to this wall, and then it's like, oh, it's nothing. And I feel like there's a good reason for it, I just don't know what it is. Whoops.
So is there anything to the right past this guy? Well, that wasn't working so well. <laughs> so let's try to get behind him when I kill him. See if I can go to the right at all. Because I swear there was a a gap or something? No. Maybe the gap was on the left and I didn't get over there fast enough? Can't remember. So yeah, this blocks me off from the other side where I was uh, when I got past this bit. Alright, there's another wheel that comes from up here, right? Nice, I'll take that one and sacrifice a little bit of distance for it. Whoops. Dang it. Basically just lost all the health that I gained. That wasn't worth it after all. You're gonna fall again, and I'm just gonna let you do that. There, that was more effective than the last time I got up here, I think. Oh yeah, he comes from the left this time. Let's just grab this, thanks. Yeah, the thing about this stage is that most of the dangers are from, uh... Just enemies, and all of these things are things that drop a lot of HP, so... Compared to the rest of the game, it's it's like a really good opening stage for hard type, I think. Because it, it, it's a little bit more forgiving than, say, spikes and stuff, which would be... I mean, not one-hit KOs in hard type, but uh, definitely a, a lot quicker saps on your HP. And it wouldn't give you a chance to heal. You don't kill a spike. Yeah, I got through, through there a little bit better. Some of, I haven't gotten through every section better than before, but... Ugh. Yeah, I think I had a decent idea there, but I didn't really execute it correctly, because I went when the miner threw his thing. That was no good. And that's a lot more effective for killing that guy. You gotta be careful around all these holes, that's for sure. So yeah, now let's go to the right and see what's over here. Okay, so it's a health power-up. Good to know. Although I didn't really need it this time around. Okay, I think I've explored everything there is to explore in this stage. Let's just go to the end again. Even introduces the boss door. <laughs> I'm not sure that needs an introduction, <laughs> but it's cool. Especially since it is kind of before the boss, but not really. I mean, technically this whole stage is before the boss, so... Well, that was convenient. You missed. You guys got deked. Uh... Dang it. Ugh. You spawn from below. There we go. That guy actually died this time. Well, that worked out pretty well, actually. Ugh. It's so annoying how I have to back up to avoid them, but then if I back up and shoot them, they immediately respawn. Let's get a little bit over from the edge. 
Yeah, I figure around here it's just a good idea to shoot as you jump sort of thing. Still didn't get through there without damage. Partly because I didn't look before I leaped that time. See, so yeah, I don't know what's up there. I don't think there's a way up there. I mean, I can dash over the right and see if I can get back over to the left, but I don't think... It's not like you can stand on the airship or anything, so... No, I just stop there. So if I stand on one of the cars, I can get over the second one easier. Ow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys take more hits. There's no way they took this many hits before. Even if I shot the crud out of them, I remember them dying before they hit me. And now we get Vile again. Do you think I can beat Vile this time, guys? Can't be that tough, right? Better not mess around too much, though, because otherwise he might actually kill me. Not that it matters, I guess, because I don't think there's that much more to see here. I'm going to open up Twitch just to see if everything's working correctly. Or if I've been missing stuff. Yeah, I'm encoding CPU usage, of course, because... Is OBS even working right now? It didn't just crash. That would suck. Yeah, I'm starting to think OBS might have crashed, so that would be terrible. But it's that plugin. <laughs> 